Welcome back to another Mukbang Monday. It's your favorite dynamic duo, B-Mars. And Shanti. And we're eating something extra special today, which is banh ban mi. We got this from a very fancy place in LA called Mendocino Farms. Uh-huh, that's correct. It's just a huge sandwich chain in mm -hmm. LA. It's delicious. And what we liked about this sandwich is you can get it vegan or non-vegan. Yours is actually vegan, too. Oh, you did give me one? Yeah. You want to hear why? Yeah. <laughs> so we have this whole <laughs> discussion about the reason our channel, like, we, uh, we started this as, like, a vegan and non-vegan and whatever, but, yeah. yeah well, okay, whatever. this is what happened. So I walk into Mendocino Farms. Mm -hmm. They have a vegan and a non-vegan bot me. And I walk in there, and they have pictures of cows all over their walls for, like, decor. Not only just pictures of cute little well, cows, that is their logo. Yeah, but they have it like chopped up into little bits like for like, this is the steak, this is the flank. Oh yeah, I've seen those before. And I was like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then I got your vegan one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it doesn't bother me, so. I figured, you said you didn't care, so I just. Yeah. So what is the meat made out of? It's marinated tofu, mm -hmm. and then it has pickled carrots and cucumber and some other stuff on it. Looks so good. I love banh mi, I've had the real version, I guess it's the real, the non-vegan version all the time. Pork belly, isn't that what it is? Mm-hmm. It's really good. Is it? Yeah. Oh, and then we have, um, they have like sodas that is made out of organic cane sugar and mm. no artificial colors or preservatives, so I got a um, diet coke mixed with cherry cola. I got a root beer. I love root beer. And yeah. chips. Oh yeah, and these are supposed to be like really spicy chips and these are barbecue chips. I love spicy chips. Cheers. We're both starving. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. The first thing is like a flop. <laughs> it blew out my mouth. Mmm. I need to learn. Whatever, like, I don't know if it's a marinade or a sauce or whatever that they use consistently throughout every time I've tasted banh mi. Mm -hmm. It is so good. It's like that spicy, tangy, sweet. I don't even know, it's my favorite. Oh, it has veganaise in it. I know that. Mm. I've never had a banh mi sandwich, but I've always wanted one. It looks so good. What do you think? Amazing. The bread is really dense. It kind of just like cut my mouth open. Mm -hmm. All the bread is. Oh shit. I don't know why I put lipstick on. How am I doing? Good. All right. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Messy, yeah. Mmm. I had to wait in line for an hour to get these sandwiches. This place was popping. I know. I can't believe that. It was crazy, yeah. But like, if someone, because I feel like there's mainly people on their lunch break at work. Our house, man. Is that the leaf blower? <laughs> it does. I do. Where do not? I'm gonna battle him. <laughs> he waits till I start recording. Yes. It, it was silent all day <laughs> until we start recording. Oh my god. Should we tell them what today's topic is gonna be? Mm hmm. So, I don't know about you, person back home, <laughs> but me and Chantal are obsessed. Um, one of the many who are super obsessed with Game of Thrones. Uh huh. So, we decided we wanted to do like an episode kind of discussing. The new season. The new season. We just saw season, or episode four. I don't know how many episodes there are in a season, like maybe ten. But don't you think we're about like halfway there? Or like getting close to half? No? Oh, I thought there's only like ten to twelve episodes in a season. We should have fact checked like before we started talking about this. Yeah, we're the worst. We're never prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just came back from a fact check. Um, actually, we're, uh... Over halfway done with this season of Game of Thrones. I'm I so know sad if you guys knew that, but um, there's only, would you say, seven episodes in the season? That's the most depressing news I've ever heard. I thought there'd be we at only least have ten. Three more left. That's so sad. I feel like that's rude. That's really rude. Is that how it always is? I'm also I feel watching. Like it's not like it might be true. It might not be true. Who knows if that fucking website was true? People like to lie on the internet. Oh yeah. Hopefully that's not true. Ooh, so how do you feel about the new season so far? Okay, so should we do a full recap for episode one or just should we talk about the last one we saw, which was episode four? 
I'm gonna talk about all of them. Okay. I'm mostly gonna talk about the last one, but like kind of give you a little overview. Because I'm assuming we're obviously gonna say spoilers. Put this on mute and just watch us eat. <laughs> if you haven't watched Game of Thrones, but also if you haven't, like I'm very confused. And you should binge watch at least the last season. Yeah. I guess some people. Um like the few people that I know that have not watched all of Game of Thrones is because it's just too graphic and like gruesome. And like sexual. What because they can't handle like incest and shit? Well just like they literally it's so gory. Yeah, but like chopping people's heads off and like ripping them open and chopping people's penises off. <laughs> they don't show him chopping the penis. <laughs> I was worried first episode. How come? It was slow. It was boring. First episode it was boring. Honestly, because the last time I watched it was literally a year ago. Mm -hmm. I had forgotten so much. I was like, who the hell is this guy? Like, the hound when he like um, found those dead bodies. I was like, I have no idea like. Why? What that means. Yeah, and like, I don't know, oh, I, I just had forgotten that. so much. I think what sucked about the first episode is like, like when um, Daenerys like landed on, what is it called, Dragon? Dragonstone? I think Dragonstone. The second episode. Oh, really? So the first and second episodes were boring as well. In the second episode, watching it, like, they made like such a big deal, like, like, oh, she's going back to her homeland, blah, blah, blah. But then it wasn't even that like crazy of a scene. She just like walked slowly. Yeah, I need to pick this up. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Hello? Oh. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry, uh, Chantal just got a call from her agent. Got a quick phone call. But anyway, like I was saying. <laughs> I'm just gonna give up now! I quit! Trying to record in this godforsaken house! This is our just like literal force cut. Those are supposed mm. to be really spicy. Mm. Warning, chips are made with some of the hottest peppers on the planet. I mean, try it. It's not that hot. Really? I feel like hot cheese are hot. That's not spicy at all. Back to Game of Thrones. <laughs> like watching that scene when she landed on a Dragonstone? Dragonstone. In Declan Actic? Yeah, she just like touched the sand. And I feel like, I don't know, maybe it was like the actor's fault that it was so dry. Like her face didn't see it. She just like... Okay, Daenerys, Jesus, like, shed a tear or something. It was just very dry. And then I watched, do you watch the, uh, when they talk about it after the episode? Oh, I love the best part. Direct, director's cut? So yeah. And the guy was like, oh, oh my god, we just wanted to, like, focus so much on her being home. And I was like, yeah, well, you had, like, 15 minutes of her just, like, walking. So, I, I honestly don't really remember that because that's how, like, on, um, exciting it was. I didn't even stop. I was like, feel something. <laughs> Do something. But had she? When's the last time she was there? Years? Never. She never, never been there. She'd never been there. No. That's yeah. She thought. was like kidnapped as a baby. Oh, so maybe it wouldn't be that emotional for her. I remember thinking like, oh god, what if the directors are so into like making this whole thing like deep and like crazy and like oh you know like think about their internal dialect and like I want to be like no I want to see some war. <laughs> no, but this season has been like a different vibe totally. Yeah. yeah. Like, everything is very slow. I feel like now that they know they have Everything's us all hooked. Mm -hmm. They're like really just. But it is true in the other episodes, oh, yeah. so many like things would happen mm -hmm. in each episode in other seasons, but in this season it's like they take one thing and they like draw it out. Mm -hmm. And they get more like into like in depth. Like Which can be cool, but it also can be like really boring. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I'm not bored, I'm so into it so far though. But no, but then this last episode was so Good. You think so? Oh my god. I like four. I feel like watching one and two, I was like, oh god. You know, now I'm like, oh, in 100%. Like, this is why I watch that show. Honestly, so our last Korean barbecue mukbang, we had talked about how we were going to watch it mm. that night, and I was like, oh, like, spoilers, something leaked online, and people said it was like the craziest episode ever. It wasn't as crazy as I had, like, hyped it up to be. Well, that's the internet's bad. You think so? Yeah. And that's why I never watch movie trailers and stuff because I feel like it's this false sense of like, this is going to be the best thing ever and your expectations too are high and then you just get disappointed. Right. It, well, so, I did have high expectations and it didn't really 
wasn't as crazy as I thought it was. I think what was so crazy about it is it was the first time we really saw with the power of the dragons. You know, like every time you see the dragon and be like cool or in the background or she's like petting it or scared of it. This is the first time that it was like literally blowing down the house. Do you think um, Jamie Lannister is dead? Well, I don't know. I can't decide because he was wearing a full suit of armor. And he got that, yeah, metal hand. <laughs> gonna drag him right down to the bottom. He was, he was like falling, it's like. <laughs> I love that um, he was like charging at her and like she notices and you're like, oh god, like and the dragon. The dragon's just, just like, nah. <laughs> like, wait, I really, for a minute there, thought that the dragon was gonna die. I was so stressed. Moon about that. So, I was jumping on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> I was so mad because. Daenerys sees the first arrow fly by. Yeah, she had to have seen that. And then she still like lines her dragon up to be like perfectly in front of it. I'm like, girl. What were you thinking? Do a little loop-de-loop -loop with your dragon around that thing. Don't just fly directly at it. I was pretty bad at Daenerys. I know. Do you think that her and Jon Snow are going to hook up? I don't know. I feel like they would make them do that. Because that's like how fucked up they are. Mm -hmm. Well, it just seems like in that cave scene, they like we're getting like close. Yeah, like the directors wanted you to see sexual tension. But I feel like if either of them knew that they were like half brother and sister, they wouldn't bang each other like Jamie and Cersei. Yeah, if they had known. Mm -hmm. So who do you think's gonna win? The Game of Thrones. Yeah. Uh, I think Daenerys. Really? I feel like the producers of the show are going to like make her not win because that's what they've done every single time. Like they killed all of the best characters. I feel they like who? Who do you miss? They killed Ned Stark in the first season. Yeah. I was pissed about that. I was like, I'm, I can't watch this show if this is how it's going to be. And then I still watched it. <laughs> oh my God, I was so sad when they killed all the Starks at that dinner. Yeah. The Red Wedding, is that what that yeah. episode was called? So messed up. I feel like they wouldn't make her win because she's like a fan favorite. Really. Like she's whoever really wants to win, so I feel like they would purposely make Cersei win. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's what they've done this whole time. They just like <laughs> with everybody. Or I could see Cersei winning. She's crazy. I mean, I want her to die, but I don't think that's what they're gonna do. I don't know. Or is Arya gonna kill her? Hmm. Oh. Also, you know what else I saw online? Hmm. I saw that. I remember we kept recording one part of the episode where Bran like whispers something to Littlefinger. Oh yeah, what did he say? What he said was, chaos is the ladder. Because it's a reference. Because I looked it up. Because we literally like rewinded it three times and like could not understand what he said. So, that was a weird verb. So, I looked up what it meant. And basically, so you know how Bran... It's like a weirdo and like can see everything and knows <laughs> everything. <laughs> um, so, a long time ago, kind of like in the first season, when um, Bran almost got like stabbed or killed or what whatnot. Thing? So Littlefinger kind of helped start all this war because he was trying to get more power. And so when he was talking to that guy, who's he was like the kind of fat guy who's bald, who's now serving Daenerys, Lord. Barris? Yeah. Barris? Is that a name? I think so. So there was an, um, a conversation between Littlefinger and Barris. Lord Barris is like, what are you doing? And Littlefinger's like, I'm trying to get power, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, you're causing craziness. And then Littlefinger goes, chaos is the ladder. And that's how they end their conversation. Oh, wow. So Bran, by saying, because Littlefinger says something to Bran like, you know, you've been through a lot, like, whatever. And Bran going chaos is the ladder is basically him just being like, I know you're a piece of shit. Wow. That's why little finger is like close up on his face is like. <laughs> did anybody catch on to that? Like, I mean, even... somebody who wrote that article that I read did. <laughs> but he didn't even like say it clear enough that like you could ever like pick that up. Yeah. I mean, I, I had no idea what you said. That war scene was crazy. And I just feel bad for the horses every time. Same. I hate seeing the horses kill. They literally... I also was really sad for the Dothraki. When watching the Dothraki dad, I was like, no, I love the Dothraki. 
They're so wild. It's crazy you like Dothraki because they're like savages. I just love them. Um, Cal Drago and Daenerys. They killed everybody. Do you think Jon Snow will bend the knee? I don't know. Yeah, what do you think is going to happen with the... What if there is nobody that wins and the um, White Walkers just come and kill everybody and take over? Actually, I could really easily see that happening. Yeah. It'd just be like, humans suck. You're too busy bickering among yourself to like fight the real enemy. Yeah. The White Walkers just... Um, Game of Thrones is going to like turn around on us and like be like... This is speaking directly to you, society. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking about Well... Oh, that sandwich was great. Did you like your um organic, all natural, preservative free cola or yeah. root beer? Did you tell? Anything else you want to say about Game of Thrones? Um, I hope Cersei doesn't win, but I think she might win, or the White Walkers are gonna kill everybody. I think Daenerys will win, or the White Walkers will kill everybody. You don't think Cersei will win? I hope Arya kills her. Yeah, I feel like there's gonna be some epic thing. You know, <laughs> if they're not, they won't kill Cersei, they'll just like torture her like she tortures everyone else. Yeah, that would be some justice. All right, guys, um, <clears throat> thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to the Muthbog channel, make sure you click that red subscribe button below. And what else should they do? Make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up if you want to see more Muthbongs. And, and if you like Game of Thrones. Yeah, and if you're mad because we spoiled everything or you want us to do more <laughs> TV show reviews because we're done with the either. Oh, let us know in the comments below who you think is going to win mm. in Game of Thrones. That I am curious to see. Because I feel like they really have kept it quite secret. They're not leaning towards anybody. Yeah, it'll right. be an epic ending. Alright, thanks so much for watching. We love you guys. Mabafong Monday out.